Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a quick Kent scene by a river. I'll, I'll, this is Fabriano. I'll wet the paper all over it. It's an old bit of Fabriano. It's got another painting on the other side. Don't waste your paper. Turn it over and do another one when it's dry, of course. Well, and then when that goes wrong, you can use it for acrylic or oil. Put a bit of primer on it. Okay, this is the palette. Uh, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, burnt sienna. That just about does everything I want in English or UK, Northern European landscape. If this was Spain, it would be a, a different palette, it would be brighter. But I like drab, I like um, cool against, against warm. So you work from the cool sky through the landscape to the foreground by using cool to warm colours. It's creating an illusion of depth. Like it's three dimensions on a two dimensional piece of paper. I will put a bit of, a bit of sienna, not, not a lot, just a, just a blush. I'll just still looking for the ideal angle. I've got the board at about 30 degrees now, but I'm quite away from it. Uh, but I want to lift my seat up a bit. Okay, I've got. A, I'll show you what I've got. Again, I've got a table of pallets there. It's on a table, well, uh, an improvised table that is made from a piece of furniture, a bit of the side of an old wardrobe, plywood. I use it for my studio easel as well. I made it for the studio easel to give me a big working area. I've got a big desk to my right, a big, big, uh, two metre wide desk. Uh, probably about seven foot by four foot, quite really big. And on my left I've got a, a movable one, small, with, with wheels on. That's That's got an extra top on it, that's about three foot by, oh, 18 inches. But you need a lot of room, but I, I can't, because I go from watercolours to acrylics and to hardball to various surfaces, I needed quite a bit of working area. Look, I'll show you my table. Look, it's all over the place. If I zoom out, you get a better look. Look, it's all there. And on my table, I've got a drawer that I pull out. Can you see that? Uh, there, yeah, I've got all, the, all these brushes on my table, next to my table. Uh, that's the table there, the, the, the improvised one. But these were the brushes I used for, for my acrylic. But I don't use them all. I only use one, one at a time. You won't make an artist by buying the latest brush and the latest equipment just because someone else uses it, an expensive sable or a big French squirrel mop. It takes a while to learn to do all this. So be prepared. Just because you can't do it in your first effort doesn't mean to say you, it's where you end up, not where you begin. You'll always get better if you practice and that's what you've got to do with painting, like everything else. It's worth it and my advice is don't quit when you can't do it, just carry on until you can do it. It's very, very worthwhile, it's a wonderful interest. Okay, so we'll put in a, just a bit of a bluey reddy sky. I like my skies from these two colours, light red and ultramarine. But you need to put them on quite thick because they will dry, they will dry back. Put more blue in there. Anybody live in the Epsom, Bansted, Wallington, where I live, area, we went to see uh, an amateur play by a group I used to belong to years ago, still got a lot of friends in it, called uh, uh, Sutton Amateur Drama Company. They're, they're putting on a production this week at the Adrian Man Theatre, which is by Nescott. 
North East Surrey College of Technical College. Um, and they're putting on Nell Gwynn. And we went last night, first night, always risky, but an absolutely superb production. So if you've got a chance to go and see, see it, it's not expensive, but it's a wonderful evening. We had a, a great time. But knowing half the cast did help, but, but we've lost two theatres in Sutton, the uh, Seacombe Centre and uh, named after Harry Seacombe and the Charles Cryer, who was known to Peggy Cryer, who was a more known thespian. The council won't back it, they've withdrawn the funding so they've closed, sold off all the lighting which we owned. That's the public, that is, the rate, the rate payers of Sutton. So, well, the Adrian Man is a very, very nice theatre, but even that, that's looking tired inside. The, the swapping seats around as they wear out rather than have the money to replace them. It's all very sad. But I would highly recommend Nell, Nell Gwynn. Uh, Anyway, that's just an aside. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use a sable. I, th I think I'm going to use a sable to the mix. I haven't used it for ages, but why not? I've got them. Oh, here we are. Just this number number eight sable I got for four pounds at the uh, Art in Action show the year before last. It's a lovely brush. But selling selling them off. Not obviously the seconds, but, but I don't care. I don't use them very often. Right, um, I want to put in a bit of uh, background now. So, a bit of Payne's Grey. Nice and cool colour. A bit of blue in it. Okay, so this, this will be the, be the Kent, Kent Hills. And then we'll just... Miss that out a little bit. Okay, let's let that dry. Right, I'll put a bit of uh, foreground in, so I've got a bit of cabin yellow, a bit of blue. Nice mixture of colours, we've got warm colours in the foreground. And a bit of, bit of blue in there I think, on the edge of that. Okay, we'll add a bit of everything in this mix for Just letting that dry, I think I'll give it a dry. So take your headphones off. Well, I'm going to put in some background now. So let's just go in here from along here. Sort of a bluey green.
warm up the bank here. Of course the, the river stir is now in Kent. And we'll put a bit of bit of edge to that bank. Okay, that'll do. Uh, now, we'll put a bit of burnt sienna on this roof. Bit of burnt umber. Bit of green. on there. Sort of a sort of that I don't know how that's going to turn out. And we'll have a bit of a ready ready roof here. I find it very hard to hold a brush or pen steady you now. There's a pain in my hands and wrists now. Years of fitting carpets, I think. That was my business. I wish I could still do it. Big bits of white on this. And just a little bit of grey Ah, that's so red. Oh wait a minute. I'll go over that bit in a minute. Uh, right now, I want to just put in a bit of shadow under the that the eaves of that thatch. And if you do it waggly like that, it will look as if it's reflect it's uh, shadowing underneath these eaves. You can get a, a, an idea of the of the thickness of the, the thatch. That's the idea of it. Uh, okay. Right now I'm going to I'm going to go back to the hake now. I only want to just use the brush that brush for for the roofs and those build buildings. So let's put in I'll use a wiggle on some of these. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing all this tracery. You can do that for yourself. I'm going to put some ivy on there though. If she doesn't mind. <laughs> the 
tissues in black and blue really. So I've I'll thicken it up with the uh, with the ivy and the canopy. I want these to look look a little bit distant. Too close to the foreground. Okay. Just uh, indicating the thickness of the bank there, a bit of burnt umber. Okay, they, they look too similar so I'm going to make one of those a little bit larger. Otherwise, be like a regiment and I keep telling you not to, or to avoid symmetry. Let's get that thicker there. Well, it's a bit, a bit of horrible shape in there. Thicken that up a little bit. Oh, I'll go over that. Okay, let's put a bit of, bit of ivy on it. If you don't know, just cover them up with a bit of, bit of ivy. Can't be a bit of ivy. Probably the brushes just a little bit too small to do, to do a good job of that. That one's better. Okay, that Get a bit carried away there. Slightly greeny blue. Okay, let's uh, put some uh, grey and umber over them. Right, now we need to strengthen up in the foreground now. Uh, let's just
right now just a little bit of bit of wiggle work on there and then a bit of bit of that sort of technique Right, let's put in a bit of, bit of warm grass in here. Burnt sienna, plain uh, and lemon, and this cabin yellow. A bit of texture, look, just grasses, dry brush. Dark green. See, you get a really nice, fine, impressionist look with uh, with the hake. So I do try to use the hake for most of my work, but occasionally things like that can do the hake. Right, let's have a nice bit of bit of warmy you can put a bit of green on there Right, I'll uh, put a little bit of dry brush. A bit of reflection just showing up there. Okay, well that'll, that'll do for that. Maybe just had a bit of a I'll just I'll just stick up the ivy on, on there. That's too dry. Too wet I mean. Headphones off. I'm not very happy with this one. I think I've um, said all I can say on that, really. It's just a.
Well, I don't have to do it, so I'm not really... Uh... on the seat. Well, it doesn't answer that, does it? Don't want to put words in your mouth, but... Right, I'll bring the uh, camera around, wind it down. Well, it's a, an impression of uh, the stir. It, it doesn't exist, it's one I've sort of made up, but from a memory in photographs of that area of Kent, we, we spent many years going to Canterbury with our trailer folding camper. And we got on the buses and, and, and traips all over North North East Kent and North Kent, Whitstable, Deal, Sandwich, uh, Faversham, Folkestone, Dover. It's lovely, lovely, lovely landscape, gentle. And it's, it's not really, it's not a flat landscape, it's quite undulating. Quite, um, quite undulating in some places, and, and very cliffy on the east coast, with Dover and, and, and Folkestone, but a lovely, lovely area. But anyway, it's a cold, bleak painting of spring, really. I've just got the, the leaves coming on the trees, it's like green ness. I've tried to show this very rough thatch. By use, using, it could be red tiles, this um, green is the algae, maybe it's a bit obvious now I've told you, and some very impressionist elderflower, elderberry trees or something on the bank there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, bye bye.